Hey yo, what up peeps? You got uh, Justin here and you are tuned into my latest vlog. So today, what's on my mind is uh, one of my bros, my all time best bro, like out of my whole life. A guy that, uh, there's been a couple times in our life where it's been a year, two years, we haven't seen each other, but as soon as we connect, it's like boom. Uh, just got a text there. Yeah, as soon as we connect, it's like there was no time that ever passed. And, uh, yeah, and in my active alcoholism, my active addictions, because it wasn't just alcohol, it was dope too. In that time, there was a lot of stuff that was said and a lot of stuff that was done. And eventually, he had to cut the tie. Because... I, the way I feel, I've never been on the receiving end of it. I've always been on the giving end. I understand that a person can't sacrifice their own life out of love for someone else. And like the, the fact that I needed to get clean and sober for so many years and people wanted to me, wanted me to get clean and sober, that doesn't mean that I want that for myself. And when a person wants somebody to get clean and sober more than that person wants that for their own life, you have to cut the tie, right? I can't want it more than you want it for yourself. That's saying. So my brother from another mother. Known the guy my whole life. You got over 25 years of memories. Been best friends for over 25 years. And this guy, there was lots of times I had nowhere to go. Like uncountable times, beyond uncountable times. Where I had nowhere to go and he let me stay there. Beyond uncountable times where I had nowhere to wash my clothes let me wash my clothes beyond uncountable times beyond them where I needed to shower or whatever I needed to sleep I needed water water and he was there for me and you know what water is taken for granted but when you got nowhere to get water you learn to appreciate water especially when you're drunk coming down but anyway so this guy he's been there for me and I've been there for him too but this guy's had his ass kicked for me over the years and shit and I never had my ass kicked for him but anyway so this guy we ended up living together uh, my marriage my my relationship fell apart and uh, and at that time I needed somebody I wouldn't have survived without somebody in my life and uh, he was the person that whoever God is the higher power whatever that person greater than myself that power greater than myself Brought somebody into my life that I could trust, that I could talk to, that would be there for me, that would love me as a brother unconditionally. And he did, this guy. And I'm grateful because when I look back, it's always easy to figure it out when you look back. But in the moment, it's hard to figure out, right? And, uh, yeah, so anyways, when I look back, I know that I wouldn't have survived without this guy. I, I lived in hotels for a month, and uh, it was about a month. And then after that, I got a place. I said, bro, come move in with me, man. Come live here. It's going to be great and all that. And I was drunk for the month uh, prior to moving in there. And uh, he likes to sip once in a while. We had a lot of good times. We had a lot of laughs and a lot of fun drunk times too. But at the end of the day, he knows I'm a fucking, I'm not the same drunk as him. And he's not the same drunk as me. I'm the kind of guy I drink. The next day I wake up, I want to drink. And he can wake up, even if he's hungover, and uh, and not drink. But anyways, uh, after losing everything that I had, all the relationships and all that, my family, I lost all that, and my bro was still there. And you know what? There was a lot of shit that I was going with. I'm not going to talk about it on this video. I might bring it up in a different video. But a lot of crazy shit. A lot of shit that destroyed myself and the way uh like my identity the way i viewed myself and you know what he didn't judge me and i know you're watching this bro i know you're watching this and even if we never link up again and become bros like we always were i know when i see you when i see this guy uh it's gonna be like no time has passed and we're gonna fucking reconcile and shit and it'll all be good but uh if that never happens i just want to let you know that you were there for me and it saved my life. Couldn't have did it without you, bro. And uh, I believe that there's people out there for everybody. And whether you've met them yet or not, 
um, there's somebody out there and you can't give up because I thought that I'd lost everything but now like once I got sober and stuff uh, I realized when I look back on it that I hadn't lost everything I still have my bro and he saved my life so thank you bro appreciate the people you got tell somebody that you love them today the point of this video is that people come and go but you know what some of those people they're forever and you know what my bro I, I imagine we're probably going to connect again later. Might be a couple years, might be a couple months, who knows. Now that I'm doing well, I imagine we'll probably connect. But thank you so much for saving my life. I couldn't have did it without you. Go tell somebody that you love them today, people. Because you might not get another chance. So I love you, bro. You know who you are. Peace.